Hi, thank you for joining me today. This video is a project pan update and it's a pretty solid update. I even have a very exciting empty to share. So I'm just gonna jump right in. I'm gonna start with my pan that palette that I'm doing this year, which I'm panning a quad from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Pillow Talk quad. In my last update, I'll show you a picture of what the palette looked like. My goal was to finish the two lighter satin shimmery shades on the left side there and I'm very happy to report that I was able to do that and I was able to expand the pan on the two matte shades that are remaining. These two shades are pretty easy to incorporate into looks but I am just getting a little bit tired of this palette after having used it pretty much every single time I wear makeup so far this year in 2023 and I had already used it a lot in years past. With these mattes they are more tightly packed as well so I know I'm going to be reaching for them for a long time <laughs> so part of me thinks that I might try to continue expanding the pan next month and then after that if I have anything left of these shades I will put them into a bigger pan and use the pink shade as a blush and the brown shade maybe as a bronzer. I'm not really sure. I'll see how much progress I can make next month. These are beautiful colors. The pink is a gorgeous crease shade for me. I love the brown because when you put it on your eye, it's soft, but it's got just enough of a warmth to it that I think it really brings out the color of my eyes. And so they're really easy shades to grab for, but sometimes I just don't wanna have to reach for this. Like I think I'm just kind of hitting that wall where I was kind of hoping it would be done by now, given that it's been five months of continuous focus. And before I forget, I will put up a picture of the amount of times that I have used each shade. Also, speaking of eyeshadows, I just filmed a video, a YouTube short, focusing on some of my favorite lavender lilac eyeshadows. I am wearing some of these on my lids today. And so if you'd like to see some more shadows like this, because I feature more than just these ones in that short, I will have that linked in the description box. The next one is a highlighter. I feel really, really good about this one. It's the half of the Filmstar Bronze and Glow Duo from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm in the light medium version, and I have really, really, really expanded the pan. I was also wearing the Champagne Pop Becca Mini Highlighter, and I did finish that one, so I'm focusing on this one a lot more now. I think if this is my only highlighter that I reach for, I could have this done, not next update, but the update after that. And once I do finish this highlighter, I think I'm going to press some blushes into this because I still love the packaging and it still works perfectly fine. Like the class still works even after all these years. I think I've had this for like six or seven years now. And I have two Essence blushes that I like the color and I like the formula, but the packaging has broken. And so I'd like to repress them into here so I can still reach for them. Now for that empty, let's talk about it. I did give a little sneak peek of this in my everyday makeup drawer video, but I finally finished the Milani Luminoso blush. This is the end of an era. Like this is truly, <laughs> it was one of my oldest makeup products and I just have so enjoyed wearing this. This is a beautiful color and I am not gonna repurchase it but I had a great time with it, and I'm gonna part ways with a lot of memories. The next product is a ColourPop setting spray. This is the No Filter Setting Mist, and I have gone through 10.27 grams. I did finish what little I had left of the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, and so I am focusing on this one. It's not the most mattifying setting spray out there, so for some occasions, I do still reach for the Urban Decay All Nighter, just because I, sometimes need my makeup to last a really long time. And so I'm working through it. I think it's gonna be the one that takes me the longest to finish. And I have decided that once I finish all the products in this project pan, I am just gonna end the project pan. I'm not gonna roll new ones in. I don't think I've ever done a project pan this way. And I think it's just good. I think it's just a good thing for me to do. I am organically finishing a lot of products this year. So I don't necessarily need a project pan to hold myself accountable. Uh, so I don't know. I, I don't know what my next project pan is going to look like. That's several months away because I still have quite a few months of work left in these products, but just kind of wanted to mention that. And so let's move on to the next product, and that is a contour wand from Charlotte Tilbury. Pretty much every product in here except for two <laughs> are from the Charlotte Tilbury brand, and a big reason for that is because 
Those are some of my oldest products. I went through a Charlotte Tilbury kick um, a few years ago and I did mystery boxes and I bought bundles and I was just purchasing a lot from that brand and I just have a lot of them now and they're kind of getting a little bit up there in age so I'm trying to work through them, especially because they are more expensive products. So this contour wand, I went through 1.17 grams. I squeeze out a little bit and then I seal it and then I just use whatever is on the sponge for like a week. And the last time I tried to do that, I had a lot of trouble getting any more product out. I am gonna try it again the next time I need to do that, but I think that this one might be on its last leg. And when I squeeze it, it's mostly just air in there. I don't think I'm gonna cut it open. I did for the Peachgasm blush that was in this packaging. And that was fine because I used more of that, but this is such a dark color and I use so little of it that cutting it open might just be messier than, than it's worth the effort for me. So I'm gonna try to squeeze out as much as I can and then whatever is left on the sponge, I'll use that. And then once I can't get any more out, organically that way, then I will consider it done. So this one I think will be empty in my next update and same with the next product, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Brightening Youth Glow. In the past month, I've gone through 6.27 grams of this and I, you can see in the pictures, it has really, really gone down. I do think that if I make an effort to breach for this pretty much every time I do my makeup, that this could be done by my next update. So that'll be two more empties and then I will be even closer on that highlighter. So I feel like making great progress, slow and steady, and yeah, I feel good about it. Let's look at how much I've finished throughout the entire month. So in the last month, I went through 19.98 grams, <laughs> which is very exciting. And yeah, I don't think I'll be done with either of the eyeshadows, but yeah, that's all the progress I had to share this time around. Stay tuned for my next update, which will be a month from now. Thank you so much for taking some time and spending it with me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video.